Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd show you how to use uh, Blue Arp Sequencer VST with uh, FL Studio. Uh, how to get it set up? There are two different ways you can set it up, and uh, basically what you do is you set up the VST, and then you want to connect it to another VST that's a synthesizer, and you use the sequencer uh, in conjunction with the second VST. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set that up because I couldn't find any real good videos on how to set it up and it's a little bit confusing uh, at first although the instructions are pretty clear if you download and read those uh, but there are a few little uh, uh, um, problems or quirks I ran into the first of which is uh, the latest version as of right now is 2.2.11 which just came out in March at the beginning of March so it's, it just came out a few days ago and uh, at least on my system I found a bug where uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't click on the control block to set parameters some of the parameters of the uh, the VST or to set uh, steps on it basically uh, and I'll explain that later when I show it to you. But you, you may want to download the previous version, which came out, I think, in September or October, which is, yeah, I think it's October it came out, it, which is 2.2.10, because that's the one I'm using in this tutorial, and it works, it works flawlessly as far as I can tell, and it's just a cool program. So... Let's go up here to options and we're going to go to manage plugins and I'm going to, I'm not going to go through this whole process, but once you load, uh, or once you, uh, copy the, um, blue ARP, uh, VST into your, uh, VST plugin folder, you need to remember to click find plugins. It takes a while to scan the whole thing. And my suggestion is once you get done scanning it, you type in blue and you see blue arps here see this little star I clicked on that after I did the search and that actually brings it up into uh, the menu when you're setting this stuff up uh, which I'll show you in a second as well so that's a good thing to do it makes the whole process easier alright so that's that's basically uh, how you get uh, the plugin or you how you get FL Studio to recognize the plugin and once you get to that point, uh, it, it's a little easier once you know what to do. So we're going to cl click on the channel rack here, and uh, we're going to add Blue Arp. And as you can see right here, it's under Simp Blue Arp. It shows up here because I clicked the star on it. So uh, remember to do that. So I'm going to uh, click this and set it up. So, so we have the uh, Blue Arp. Uh, sequencer and what a sequencer does it's it's input device for a synthesizer or uh, another uh, VST so basically you set patterns in this and uh, your uh, your other VST uses this to create patterns so we need another we need another plugin so uh, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I have I loaded a uh, a synthesizer called T Force Alpha Plus 64, and and this one I know works uh, with Blue Arp. Uh, I recommend loading this one first just to go through the process. You can experiment with these other uh, synthesizers. I'm going to show you two ways to load this, or two ways to connect it to Blue Arp. But uh, some synthesizers might not support some of the ways, or uh, there may be issues with some. This one works, so you use download this. Just do a Google on T Force. It's a free VST. Load that as well, so you have something kind of as a baseline. So when you're following this tutorial, uh, you know that it, it's it's working. If you know what I mean, because uh, I spent a lot of time getting this working because the videos out there weren't all that great on this. So let's uh, let's select T Force. Takes a minute for it to load up. All right, so now we have T Force in there. Now, uh, one thing I want to do here, just to make sure I do it, I'm going to go ahead and put um, the channels for the mixer on these. I'm going to just continue down from this. This is just a basic channel rack setup. This will work on any rack setup. All right, so we've got this running, or, or we've got this right here, and. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, 
up to this little toggle here or this little cog here now if you're using other VSTs if this cog this icon doesn't appear it, it's not compatible with with doing it this way uh, this is is this is the the fruity wrapper or something no no the other thing we're gonna do is a fruity wrapper this is this is uh, this is the interface to get uh, the MIDI in uh, FL Studio this with this particular method so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you actually have to use the mouse scroll to set this and so I'm gonna set it to channel 11 right there the the channels have to be the same channel so it knows what it's it's uh, going through so then we're gonna go over to blue arp and we're gonna go to this cog and we are going to uh, go down here in the output port. We're going to set it to the same port. It could be any port that's unused And then we're going to close that Now I'm going to now I'm going to go into this and I'm going to go up to the piano roll I'm going to just pick um, Let's go back up. Let's go down here. I don't want it too high All right, I'm going to I'm going to just Put a note in and drag it the whole length of the measure right here just for test purposes so we'll close this and you can see right here here's the pad it's just one note right now and the reason we're just doing one note in this is uh it's going to arpeggiate it it's going to put different notes in there so uh it's easier to see what blue arp is actually doing if you're just playing one note when you're testing it so if we go back over here to blue arp itself uh looks really complicated well there are some presets right here and uh so we're going to run through some of these presets so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna pick simple 4k four bars uh to start with and we're gonna go up here select pattern and play so that's uh, that's um that's Blue Arp working. Now, if we go down here to Step Scale, and we move these around, see the patterns started to change. So, so we can actually change patterns using uh, these. Uh, these blocks of, of uh, attributes down here. We've got step type, key, select, octave, and step scale. But we're not going to go into that in this video because we're just showing you how to get it to work. So while you're testing it, just use the presets up here so we can go through these. So it's changing different things on these, and you can see these selections changing around here. So now let's just stop this. All right, so that's that was one way that we can we can set this up. That's pretty much the simplest way. I'm going to show you another way to do it now because there are two different ways and the second way may, may work better for some synth that you have uh, or a synth might support one way and not the other for whatever reason. Uh, once again, use T-Force. We're going to use T-Force with this uh, just so that we have kind of a baseline. So once you get it working, and you know how it works, it's easier to start to swap out other VSTs and uh, you'll find you have less tr trouble. All right, I'm gonna show you a second way. I'm gonna start from the beginning without Blue Arp or any synth in there. We're gonna go and we're gonna go to Blue Arp, drop that in, and then we're gonna drop another plug in and this time we're gonna go to Patcher. So we, we go to uh, this plat Patcher heading and the Patcher we're gonna pick is called Patcher. And this is a signal chain and so the green represents a MIDI signal chain and yellow represents an audio signal chain. So we're going to click on this green dot right here and go insert plug in go blue ARP and then we're going to insert another plug in with this green dot right here and we're going to call this or, or we're going to go to T-Force Then we're going to right click on this this signal chain we don't 
we actually don't need this signal chain right here so we're going to uh we're going to right click on this yellow button right here and go disconnect all so that this is now our signal chain now the next thing we need to do in here is go back to blue arp got two of them open let me close one of them all right we're going to go to blue arp and we're going to go here and we're going to uh Select any output port. It can be any number. I'm going to select 16 this time. All right. Now, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to actually go to Patcher now. And Patcher is where I'm going to open up the, um, the uh, piano roll. And I'm going to put a long note on there. And we're gonna we're gonna play that pattern. Now, if we go back to Blue Arp, we can change the patterns again. And you can see so now this is a different way to connect Blue Arp uh, to another to a synthesizer. All right, so that's basically it. Now you have Blue Arp working with another synthesizer. Uh, once again, I would try uh, downloading uh, this T-Force synth, which is free. Just Google it uh, and use the same synth that I used. So you get an idea to make sure you know how it works first. Then you can experiment with other synths. And that way, if you, there's some incompatibility with either of these ways, like, like uh, some VSTs do not support Patcher, uh, for example. Uh, so... If there's if you have a problem with your with connecting to it then uh, and some synthesizers will not have this extra they won't have the extra icon in there for uh where is it this icon right here s some synths don't have that when you put them in fl studio so uh that may mean they're not compatible with blue arp uh, or that you can't use it with Blue Art. But those are the two basic ways that you can connect Blue Art to a synth in FL Studio. Uh, I'll probably make some more videos on Blue Art, like how to, to, to program it. Uh, I wanted this to be a little bit quicker, but it was probably a little more involved than it should have been. Just because it's a complicated topic, you could spend hours setting this up without being shown exactly how to do it. And uh, it is very frustrating. I've spent most of the day trying to get this to work just because uh, there were, uh, I actually, the VST I had was the newer VST. And once I even got that hooked up and started messing with it, there's some, some issues I had with programming it. All right, I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.